You're watching Adventure Sean, where I'm here in Iceland for my first ever visit. Now, over the next few days, I'm going to be filming a few different vlogs for you to enjoy here for my first visit to this country. It's somewhere that I've always wanted to come to. It is pretty chilly, but you know what? Uh, I'm in Iceland and I'm so happy to actually be here. And yes, join me for a few different vlogs sharing my adventures during the trip. Going to be taking this van that you can see just here on a journey around Iceland, seeing lots of different sites. Uh, today's main focus is going to be visiting the Blue Lagoon. It's somewhere that I've really wanted to go for a long time. One of the big bucket lists for me coming here to Iceland. So, of course, later on, going to be heading there. But first off, going to show you a few things along the way. I uh, just literally picked up the van. The good thing is, uh, when you come to Iceland, uh, with it, you know, being quite a compact country in terms of uh, all the things that you want to see, it's uh, nice and easy to get hire cars, vans, transportation. However, uh, I think the best way to do this trip is literally being in a van like this it's been converted into a camper uh, hired from lava and uh, you know what they've got some great deals and prices yeah it's definitely worth checking out their website no hotels on this trip literally the van and uh, yeah as you can see in the middle of absolutely nowhere about to go and see my first sight whilst i'm here in iceland so come and join me here on adventure sean it's gonna be a good day i'm looking forward to this oh look at this absolutely epic scenery a very dramatic landscape and yeah, you can just see the van down there on the free car park. Uh, I think there's going to be plenty of free park in this trip. No pain displays to be seen. And uh, yeah, we literally walked about three minutes down this pathway here. And uh, yeah, welcome to the bridge between continents. And yeah, before I show you the bridge itself, I'm just going to head over to the uh, signage just here give you a bit of information about it. So here we go. This is something that I really wanted to see as part of the trip. We're standing now on the Eurasian plate just there. Off to the left is the North American plate. And yeah, you see where that star is right there? Of course, that's where I am, the bridge between the two plates. Very interesting stuff. And yeah, it gives you all uh, a bit of info all about this. And yeah, of course, you can pause the video if you want to read it all. Uh, but yeah, the Eurasian plate, which I'm standing on, is Earth's largest continental tectonic plates there you go big words for you here uh, but there you go approximately 75 percent of the human population lives on the eurasian plate uh, of course uh, which is really interesting yeah when you see all that and here we go here it is the bridge between continents yeah so what a way to start the trip by coming to see this i mean to be honest from on the bridge you get some great views but it's more about seeing the bridge from over here so yeah i'll kind of show you it from this angle yeah look at this all you can see is footprints down there Look at the colour of like the soil down there. It's really interesting, isn't it? There you go. Obviously, we're going to be seeing like some black sandy beaches and all that kind of stuff. And this gives you a bit of a, an idea of that. But yeah, here's a look at the bridge. So yeah, that's the uh, North American plate just over there. So yeah, we're going to cross over and uh, go and see it. First adventure of the trip here in Iceland. Look at this. Here we go. Here's the sign just here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'll, come, I'll move over at you photo. <laughs> there we go. Somebody's down at the bottom there taking a photo of them. I will come and stand just over here. There we go. <laughs> if you want a photo on the bridge, which is cool. Oh, there we go. Another sign just down here. Look at this. Wow. It's absolutely freezing. You need to uh, wrap up. You're coming into Iceland. But yeah, look at this. Wow. Great scenery. I've got phone signal though, as you just heard. <laughs> Crazy, yeah, 4G, like driving up to here, just oh, amazing. This really gives you an idea on the scale. You can just see the guy who took the photo down there. And yeah, this valley and all the footprints down there in the bottom. So yeah, I'm standing now on the North American plate. Crazy that, isn't it? And there's a look back at the bridge over there. Fantastic. We are going to take a few more photos, have a little look round. And yeah, we'll get back in the van and continue on the journey here in Iceland. 10 minutes down the road then from where I was just here now in Valalukamo. Well, at least that's how I think I pronounce it. You know how pronunciation's like, it's awful, but who cares about the pronunciation? This is what we've come to see. Look at the view down here, looking out at the ocean there. And yeah, we've got these really impressive cliffs. And yeah, I was talking about the black sand that we're gonna see. You kind of get a gist for that now when you look at the edge of the cliff just here. Look at this scenery. Look at all the birds over there as well. Crazy. So yeah, the plane is going to walk a little bit further down this way. And yeah, up 
just here and get some views from kind of you know on this angle i only take a few minutes i think to walk around there it's not like a a massive cliff obviously hard to get the scale of it from here but yeah maybe five minutes walk around up kind of further up there and get some great views looking down at a very rough ocean look at that worth pointing out that this location you do need to pay for parking now it can be done through an app um didn't realize it's me thinking just oh i don't think we're going to be paying for parking well there you go um but yeah you can pay through an app and yeah it's ampr i think when you were driving in um around that way there was a camera so yeah it's got to be paid if you look up there though you've got a lovely lighthouse that you can see and yeah i can hear hundreds of seagulls off to the right here but yeah this is stunning so just before I head up then, here's another view of the lighthouse and a bit of information for you about it with an absolutely stunning photo there of the lighthouse with the northern lights. And yeah, hopefully going to be seeing them this trip. Fingers crossed for that one. But yeah, there we go. We've got the lighthouse just here and some information about it. Uh, the oldest lighthouse currently standing on Icelandic shores and was lit on the 20th of March, 1908. Uh, but there you go. A bit of information for you there about it. Again, you can always pause the video. You want to read some more about it just there but uh, there you go really interesting 20 meters tall that is fascinating and yeah of course still in use you got the little house off to the side there as well this is amazing it really is and yeah gonna uh, head up there now look at the size of these rocks just here like i've never seen anything quite so dramatic as what i'm seeing so far here in iceland look at the size of these like it was really weird this is the shape of them and they're so clean and amazing. I've just never seen anything quite like it. You normally see rocks and they're all quite grubby and yeah, like covered in mud or yeah, but look at this, like or moss or something like that. But these rocks are just so clean. It's kind of like they've all been pressure washed or something. Amazing. What a yeah, uh, what a dramatic landscape. Let's carry on. Oh wow, look at this. Hundreds of seagulls around, the waves crashing up against the rocks here. What a start to day one here in Iceland. Amazing. Like, look at these rocks. Crazy all the way down the coastline just here. Wow. But yeah, this is beautiful. So yeah, I am going to actually head up to the top here shortly, around the other way, but I thought we've got to come down here and have a bit of an explore. Amazing. I hope the tide doesn't come in. <laughs> But around the corner there now and halfway up the cliff just here and already I've been rewarded with some pretty epic views. Look at this. Wow, gonna keep on climbing. Not too far to go now. Just up here to the top. And yeah, I think the views from there are gonna be even more impressive. Wow, look at this. As they say back on the London Underground, mind the gap. <laughs> you won't want to be falling down there or on this side. <laughs> yeah, wow, this view. Yeah, part literally just over to the side there. Here's some more people. Yeah, of course, very popular time to visit Iceland and seeing everything. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, straight off the plane as well, straight into it. But yeah, lava with the van rental were great. I'll give you a bit of a tour around there later on as well. <laughs> wow. Here's a look over the edge just here. Look at all the seagulls. See where I was just was around that corner, looking out that way. And yeah, it got to there around the pathway off to the side. It's amazing. Really is quite something. Well, this is why the channel's called Adventure Sean. It's moments like this that I absolutely love being able to capture and share with you all on YouTube. Hundreds of seagulls and loads of seagull poo all on the side of the cliffs there. See, I was literally just down there a few minutes ago. It's only took five minutes to climb up to the top here. But yeah, I'm probably, what, 150, 200 feet up, I'd say, here. There's a view back over towards the van and the car park. Some sort of power station possibly over there. And yeah, and these views, it's a little bit slippy up here, so you've got to be careful. Don't want to get too close to the edge. But yeah, the view from up here absolutely phenomenal oh i love it well those views at the top were incredible it's much calmer back down here now got myself a little friend you're right there <laughs> Been a nice little statue down here now yeah, look at this wow really impressive and yeah just over to the right i have to see a piano now from the eurovision movies yeah it's literally just over at the side here on the car park 
I say car park, more like a stony pit. Well, here we go then. The great thing is they always put plaques out so you can always get a bit of information about what you're seeing. And yeah, there's the pianos just there, the home of Volcano Man. And yeah, you can see some information about it just here. And of course, the awesome photo there of uh, Will Ferrell and also Rachel McAdams. And uh, yeah, they performed Volcano Man for the Hollywood movie Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga. And yeah, you can see the photos just here and the exact position of the photo would have been just over here to the left hand side kind of with the pianos here in the front and yeah the cliffs out there in the distance but yeah how cool like literally it's so nice to see this and obviously the fact that you know there's no damage to it as well sometimes you go and see things like this and it'd be covered in graffiti and people like drawing all over it but no it's actually in a really good uh, kind of state this is really nice to see it down here beautiful might just uh, stand here for a little bit and play a song if only it works It is so peaceful here. You can just hear absolutely nothing. And the adventure continues on day one here in Iceland with this shipwreck just over here. This has actually been here since 1988. And there we go, a helicopter from the Icelandic Coast Guard was called out and managed to rescue all 11 sailors. So yeah, that's good news. But yeah, it's been here since 1988. And look at this, let's go and have a look. It's a little bit rocky around here, but there we go. Wow, 1988 shipwreck. Like, this is crazy how it's still here. Wow, look at this. This is so cool coming to see things like this. I look at the aging of that. Wow. Still got all the pipes and things in there as well. This is awesome. Get up onto the top just there. Blimey, all the seaweed down there. God, just literally been here ever since. God, it's amazing. Like, well worth coming to see. See the little porthole on the side there as well? God, oh, how cool is this? Blimey. I'd seen photos of this and thought, gotta come and check it out. Just round the other side then here now. And yeah, I'll just park the van round at the side and look at this. Brilliant. Coming to see it, wow. Amazing, all the cables just on there as well. God, oh, I love coming to see things like this. I really do. Of course, it's unfortunate what happened back in 1988 however at least everyone survived that's the main thing here we go around the other side now and just look at the rocks just nothing the road getting to here <laughs> was absolutely awful as well there you go look at the top of it just here incredible what a thing to come and see as part of this adventure there we go there's another look at it from this side brilliant right back in the van because up next it's time for a swim. Well, it's only took about 15 minutes from the previous location at the shipwreck to make it here to a huge bucket list that I've wanted to do for many years. Welcome to the Blue Lagoon, Iceland. So yes, I'm gonna be able to take you inside with the GoPro. There's your parts appear on the car park, free parking. And yeah, there's a look over towards the sign. I am so excited for this. And if you've never seen it before or heard about it, well, you're gonna be in for a treat. Come and join me here at the Blue Lagoon. Yeah, let's go and check it out. Here we go then, just on the walk now from the car park and yeah look at this i like how it's quite a small little path that you walk down very atmospheric you can see all the steam rising in the distance here we go so excited for this wanted to come here for many years wow look at this welcome to blue lagoon iceland and yeah just over before heading into the main entrance just started to show you this there's actually a hotel here as well i think that's possibly the building you can see over there in the distance but you've got the pathway that runs around here like the little bridges i just walked into a rock <laughs> just down there wow it's amazing now yeah this is completely man-made it's not a natural spring however i just love the look of this and you can see all the steam rising from this and thinking oh you know it's really warm well i just dip my hand in it's not this is actually really cold the water here obviously this isn't the main part of blue lagoon this is just kind of on the outside and yeah gonna head in shortly into the main bit which i think is on the other side of them rocks just there 
Here we go then, so that was nice and easy. Straight in, check my booking confirmation. Of course, book tickets online uh, to visit Blue Lagoon today. And uh, yeah, within five minutes, I'm changed and here I am in the main atrium area. And you can see a map just there of the Blue Lagoon. I am so excited for this, I really am. Yeah, in terms of the changing facilities, you've got male and female changing rooms. You get a free locker included and you get these little wristbands just here. And also you can charge things onto that as well. Similar to what you find at a lot of water parks out there around the world. But uh, yeah, gonna head around here to the right now. Like I say, you're allowed to take your phone in, you can take your GoPro in, which is awesome. And of course you can come out anytime you want to as well. Yeah, here's a look at the seating area. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm so pumped to get in. But yeah, you got a little cafe just over here as well. You grab towels just over here as well for free. So there's a look at a map of the Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa. And yeah, of course you can see all of the different areas just there. So we've got the shallow area that's further forward and the deeper area further back. And you've got some awesome temperatures on there as well. Uh, 39 degrees C, 40 degrees C up there as well. Oh, amazing. Now, if you don't want to actually brave the cold straight away, you can get in that way. However, I feel like to get the full experience, here we go. Huge bucket list, yeah. To get the full experience, you've got to come out this way. How amazing is this? Oh, wow, what a setting for it as well. How spectacular. It's cold, but you know what? I am looking forward to stepping in there. Wow, this is beautiful, isn't it? So like I say, it is man-made. However, of course, all the heat is rising up out of the ground to heat this huge pool that you see here and it's massive it goes all the way further back from looking at the map there so yeah this is kind of the shallow area here and yeah it extends all the way back and to be honest i am freezing so yeah let's go and get in look at this oh, oh, oh here we go oh wow oh, 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 oh. oh it's nice and hot oh wow look all the steam Oh, this is beautiful. So yeah, really shallow at this point. I'll give you a bit of an idea. I'll stand back up in the cold. There we go. <laughs> this gives you a bit of an idea. We am expecting to get quite a bit deeper, of course, the further in that we get. But yeah, this is beautiful, isn't it? And temperatures are up to 40 degrees C. First thing you notice when you come in here is how slippery the floor actually is, especially when you're coming down the ramp in. The floor is very slippery, so you gotta watch yourself. And also, this isn't a swimming pool, you know, it's a geothermal spa. You've got to think, um, underneath the water just here, you know, it's all like rocks and grains and yeah, you know, we're in this spring. Like, it's, it's amazing, like, it really is. Gorgeous. And of course, it's gonna have a little look around. You got like all the little uh, bridges around as well, taking you to different areas. You can also get the silicon masks in here. So yeah, definitely gonna be uh, giving that a try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How nice is this? And the best thing is as well, we're gonna be staying in for as long as you want to, you know, there's no time limit. Book the three o'clock session, but yeah, can, uh, stay in here and get some footage later on at night and just enjoy it obviously you're going to be getting lots of footage for you all but just spending time off camera and soaking in the moment see so yeah, all them changing rooms are all inside the building there like i say male and female changing facilities available and everyone needs to actually have a shower before coming in as well but yeah you've got like little changing rooms in there as well this place is huge i can see why they give you a map so yeah, as far as I'm aware, it goes all the way back in this direction. Around to the left as well. But yeah, oh, the colour, it's like a, a colour, kind of like chalk in the water. Yeah, that's how it feels. But oh, it's so relaxing. Like already, you can just tell that it's really good for your skin, you know. And yeah, we're just doing a bit of research about Blue Lagoon and just reading all up about it. It tells you how, you know, uh, you just feel so much better when you're in here. And that's true already from just stepping in here. You can just tell, it just feel, it makes your body feel really nice and relaxed. Gorgeous, yeah, I don't really have a clue how far back it goes or where we're going. But yeah, like, look at this, it's like being up in the clouds or on another planet, you know, going through here. But yeah, there is also a bar in here, like I say, you've got your uh, wristband. So these also open your locker, these are including the price. And uh, yeah, you can also add drinks from the bar um, to that as well, from somewhere. And here, maybe over there, there's a little building. And obviously it extends down to the left there as well. Yeah, this is stunning. Absolutely breathtaking. It's a huge bucket list to come here and just see it. And yeah, the scale of it is something what is really hard to grasp. And I imagine you're watching this now thinking, you know, blimey, how big is it? You know, it is really hard to tell. Hopefully at other points, I'll be able to step out of the water and just kind of show you the scale of the lagoon just here. But yeah, gonna head back down this way and kind of see what we can find walking around here and just enjoy it, soak it up. In terms of 
how deep it is now kind of up to just above my waist at this point so it's not like really deep or anything but maybe it will be further back oh so i've been in here about five minutes now and i tell you what it is really warm down here it was probably maybe 37 38 degrees back there here now this is where it's 40 because yeah i believe this is kind of where all the heat's rising up now out of the ground kind of up into these oh and then funneling out and heating the water all around oh it's amazing but yeah what makes this is literally uh, the bottom of it you know you are walking on rocks it's not a smooth swimming pool bottom and oh and here the, oh my god the gradient really changes here we go let me stand up and show you this there you go it's obviously literally just it was up to my waist and now like uh, you can pretty much stand up here so that shows you how it changes oh but yeah if you want you can just sit out here relax and look at it all but yeah like all the rocks here all the white on there like all the moss kind of growing around them as well it feels natural it doesn't feel man-made obviously it is but you know it, it does feel very natural especially with the floor i think that's what really does it for me i think it's going to be stunning in here at night just underneath a little bridge here now and yeah i think i can walk over the top of this i'll show you that in a moment but yeah, I have noticed quite a few people have actually got their own water bottles that they've brought in. Uh, and yeah, you've got these around. So yeah, obviously to stay here hydrated whilst you're in here, you can fill your water bottle up or yeah, if you want to, just take a little swig of water from over there. Oh, it's really rocky on my feet just here. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna step out. Yeah, 40 degree heat, you know what? Let's step out. Uh, well, that's the plan. Just to give you an idea on the scale of this. So yeah, I'm gonna head around this way. Like I said, just, it is really slippery. So you gotta be very careful when you get it in. But there is like this little railing off to the side. But yeah, let's uh, go up onto the bridge. Oh, 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 it's cold. Thing is, I'm really gonna appreciate when I get back in now. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Wow, so yeah, from up here, you get a huge idea on the scale of this place. It's massive. So yeah, car parts round at the back there. Uh, and then of course, all the main building just here, the changing rooms. You've got like a sauna somewhere as well. Yeah, it extends around to the right. I came in over there. Heads all around to the right as well, which is interesting. And up here onto the bridge. <laughs> I love this. I can just walk up onto here. Oh, I am so cold. Here I am in Iceland, standing on a bridge at the Blue Lagoon. Here we go. Honestly, I was so happy to be here after all this time just to finally be here and embrace it and soak it all up. Amazing, it really is. There we go. And there's a look round into this section where i'm heading next and yeah you can see it goes all the way back over there i'm absolutely freezing though so i'm gonna head back around to get in hopefully i'm really gonna appreciate it you can tell most uh, people haven't walked around here it's only my footprints but yeah, you can walk all back around that way it seems as well all the lava rocks around the side wow so yeah, i imagine that's kind of like the workings for it that building over there of course getting all the heat out of the ground and putting it in to the water just here Oh, incredible yeah look at this down the side <laughs> i'm gonna hold on i don't want to go flying Ooh. amazing oh yeah when you've been outside for a couple of minutes just appreciate it even more when you come back in oh bless oh again it's really nice and warm around here now so yeah, this is another one of them areas uh, where, of course, the heat is coming up from. The sound of this distribution well is 38 degrees Celsius, geothermal seawater being channeled into the lagoon from 2,000 meters within the earth. And yeah, of course, it's making its way in here, so it is really hot. Oh, and the water's pretty deep here as well, kind of up to this level now, if I stand up for you. There you go. So yeah, like, you know, it's not too deep. I thought in some place it might be deeper. But you know what? It's perfect. I can't wait for this at night. I don't know how much lighting there is out here. It might be really dark. There might be some kind of underwater lighting. I don't really know. Like I say, it is man-made, so possibly there is. But yeah, there's not really much lighting around the side. I don't think I've ever felt so relaxed in all of my life as I have here in Iceland. It's just such a chilled out and relaxing country. It really is. Beautiful place. And this is just day one. Yeah, definitely the thing that I wanted to see the most, this is. But there's so much more to discover on this trip. And yeah, you can hardly see anything. That's what kind of makes it. And it goes so far back. Again, it's really hard to kind of show that on camera without you actually being here and seeing it all. But of course, I always try and give you the best experience. But yeah, I just was chatting to someone. And just over here, this is where we get the mud masks. So yeah, you do get one included when you have a regular ticket. But you can also get like a VIP experience here as well which is pretty cool of course as always there's options on the website but yeah like how nice is this 
Here we go then, so this is where you pick them up. And yeah, here's a look at all the different masks available. So yeah, the silicon mud mask at the top there, that's what I'm going for. That's included in the comfort package, which is what I've gone for. But yeah, you've got all sorts of different ones here. Yeah, there's nobody waiting, let's, uh, let's go and pick one up. Hello. Yeah, it's one of the silica mud masks, please. Thank you. Yeah, go for it. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Here's some silica. Thank you. Steve Keep it on for 10 minutes. 10 right? minutes. Thank you very much. Here it is. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, it's just what you wanted to see, viewers, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Oh, lovely. I don't know how I look right now, but yeah. Oh, there's a mirror over here. Oh, lovely. Leave it on for 10 minutes, she said. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> Something that I still can't get over is the scale of this place. Like, it's absolutely huge. Amazing. But yeah, if you do want to get some of the other mud masks, you can pay for them with your band. I've still got it on, by the way. Just walking around, soaking it all in. Obviously, the camera steaming up a little bit, but it's going. Yeah, we're in 40 degree Celsius heat. Like, it's amazing. Under the little bridge. Oh, it's so cool. I like this little alcove area over here. This is nice. Yeah, you got some like low level lighting around. So yeah, I can't wait to see what it's like at night round here. Oh, there's a big waterfall there. Oh, like a cold waterfall. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, this is where the saunas are, I believe. There we go, the cold cave. That sounds interesting. Best not going there whilst I got this on. I'll tell you what, I'll linger about here for another few minutes. Keep the, mace, the face mask on. And then we'll go and explore around here. I know you're all watching this at home laughing right now. Just seeing me covered in all this. <laughs> It's good fun though, isn't it? Like, if you come in here, you've got to embrace it. You've got to enjoy the experience. Yeah, fantastic to be here in Iceland. It really is. After all this time of wanting to come, you've got to do it properly. Yeah, look at this. Wow. And yeah, like I say, the floor's really rocky as well. It certainly adds to it. Oh my God, it continues around here as well. Some more kind of smaller pools, if you like, round off to the left. A little bridge there. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I love all this. Oh, so good for you. you. Just feel amazing. Absolutely feel on top of the world in here. Here we go then. So I've took the mask off, and yeah, to be honest, I do feel really refreshed after that. It was very nice. I don't think I'd do another one. It's not really, you know, the sort of thing that's made this experience for me. However, like I said, just if you come in here, you got to embrace it. You got to do these things, and yeah. Why not? you got to give it a go. It was nice. Oh, that was nice under the waterfall just there. Yeah, back out now. and just thought I'd show you outside here. Yeah, the little lagoon areas off to the left. Love these little bridges. So nice. And yeah, you really appreciate it more from a bit further up here. Because obviously you can just see everything. Just the scale of it. Like people all the way over there in the distance, which is awesome. You now these little pools, kind of like little hot tubs, aren't they really? <laughs> I mean, the whole thing's a big hot tub, to be fair. And here you got all this section over here as well. Oh, amazing. But yeah, there you go. That's where I got the, the mud mass just over there. I'm not too sure where the bar area is. I know there is one somewhere. Unless maybe it's normally there as well. I'm not too sure. Well, there is indoor bar facilities. Oh, I'm freezing now. Yeah, <laughs> that's where I was just coming around here. And there we go. You got the sauna just over here. Should we go and have a little look inside here? It's going to be nice and hot in the sauna. Oh, it's hot in like my eyes. So I've just been in both the sauna and also the steam bath. I tell you what, that was really hot in there. Like crazy that was, honestly. Never felt heat quite like it. Right, back inside here then now. And then yeah, shortly, gonna put the GoPro away and just enjoy it, soak it all in. Of course, get some more footage later on at night. It says cold cave just here. And with this door, so I thought we're gonna have a little look. See what it's, uh, oh, oh, here we go. It's not that cold in here. Oh, it's dark though. Oh, yeah, I was waiting for like a massive uh, gush of water or something. Oh, it's quite nice in here to be honest. Really relaxing. Oh yeah. I was waiting for literally for a massive like gush of water or something. Nobody else in here. But yeah, in the sauna it was so hot in there. Yeah, that steam bath. Oh, blimey. But yeah, quite relaxing actually. Just sat in there. Little cave. 
looks like a staff door or something, doesn't it? But it's not. So I was saying just about the bar area. There it is, just over there. So yeah, you've got a swim up bar here at the Blue Lagoon as well. Oh, amazing. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's the section where, obviously I mentioned a few minutes ago, you can kind of come in that way if you want to instead of walking outside but i feel like for the big kind of grand reveal that you get here you want to be uh yeah you want to be walking out into it that's all part of it yeah if you have like the premium package that they do here of course you get all your dressing gowns as well oh beautiful i love it but yeah i'm gonna put the gopro in the locker and i will see you a little bit later on when it gets dark get some more footage for you well it's been a few hours since i last spoke to you all and it's been absolutely wonderful here just taking it in and enjoying the springs talking to people oh it's been wonderful it really has we are back in now and yeah it's nearly eight o'clock in the evening and look how bright it still is i mean it's gradually getting dark but that's the thing with iceland first time coming here first day ever in iceland so yeah i don't really know you know how dark it's gonna get because i've obviously heard from a lot of people that you know it doesn't really get that dark until later on especially now we're coming to the end of winter and you know well it's been spring really yeah look at this oh it's beautiful so peaceful and much quieter now as well so if you do want a quieter experience definitely recommend coming on an evening yeah it's a bit less kind of misty now as well so i can show you a bit more around but yeah it's 10 past eight see all the lights on also there's a nice little cave just over there i'm chilling out in there for a bit as well but yeah it's chatting to so many people we're from all over the world here in iceland lots of americans here as well and yeah just generally chatting to people but yeah just kind of soaking it all up and what a day it's been absolutely amazing and tonight you're going to be making the journey up to Reykjavik uh, and of course really looking forward to uh, exploring there and seeing more of it uh, which is going to be absolutely awesome yeah somewhere that i've always wanted to go mainly just to see the church and the architecture and again and um, just see something else that's so famous they had a couple of drinks as well but yeah like i mentioned earlier on it's nice and easy just scanning the band oh i'll tell you what i thought it was cold out of the water earlier but yeah it's absolutely freezing now tonight yeah i just thought i'd show you the awesome kind of evening ambience here yeah all the lights around the side look at this it is beautiful isn't it what a spectacular place to come and yeah it's like nowhere near as misty now as it was earlier so you get a fantastic view just looking at everything so yeah just to give an idea on the perspective again so over in that corner there that's where the sauna is obviously the mask came from there the bar is over in that direction and yeah it extends all the way over there as well this place is huge like it's been about six hours here obviously not being in the pool all that time but just chilling out there's also the lava restaurants which is that building over there not been to the restaurants uh, i've had a couple of uh, light bites and of course you can get snacks from this little cafe inside if you do want to go to the lava restaurant you need to actually get changed to go in there um so yeah it's worth kind of pointing that out for you um you can't kind of you know just go in there um in your, in your swimming clothes but yeah this is awesome i love it oh this evening ambience now is perfect yeah and to be honest it's getting darker really quick now so yeah, we might get a little bit of time in here at night but if not even just seeing this kind of evening ambience now it's so much quieter like nearly zero degrees and yeah literally standing here and walking into 40 degrees celsius hot water this is the life honestly oh, yeah look at this it's empty pretty much got this whole side to myself around here that's the thing though it's so big that you know i think a lot of people don't really realize how far back it goes and you've got lots of little, different little alcoves and areas to enjoy uh, which is beautiful yeah i love it so much here i will definitely be back in the future well it's nearly closing time here at the blue lagoon in iceland and yeah i'm pretty sure this is going to be as dark as i'm going to get it tonight unfortunately however here's a look over here at this sign that i've not actually been able to read uh the blue lagoon is one of the 25 wonders of the world which yeah is really interesting isn't it up there we get loads of information of course with the temperatures um about the depth there as well um the time it takes for all the blue lagoon's water to naturally renew itself 40 hours 9 million liters of seawater in the blue lagoon as well and yeah that's another map of the site just there but yeah as you can see it's really emptied out now just gonna enjoy it for a few more minutes then it's to the changing rooms what an absolutely amazing first day here in iceland and first visit of many in the future to the blue lagoon 
Here we go, this guy wants to be in the video Hello. on the car park. Here we go. Hope you the enjoyed it. Yes, it was amazing. Oh, it was so good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was your favourite part? Uh, I think it's just the water and just relaxing, you know. It oh, just makes you feel yeah. calm. Oh, it was amazing. Well, yeah. make sure you check the video out. Adventure yeah. Sean on what, YouTube. What, 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 what channel it's is called it? Adventure Sean. Adventure Sean. Adventure Sean. Oh, Adventure Sean. Good to meet you, mate. Nice to see you. Oh, everyone's so friendly here, it's lovely. What an absolutely incredible visit to the Blue Lagoon here in Iceland. Really enjoyed it. Honestly, a huge bucket list of mine. Really wanted to come and see this. And finally, getting here to come and experience it has been wonderful. The temperature of it, the size of it, it's so hard to actually capture the scale of it in a video. Uh, I've loved it so much. The only thing, I wish there was a few more food options. Like I say, you've got a little cafe uh, that does light bites. And also, you've got uh, the Lava restaurant. That's like a high-end restaurant. And then you've got like a low-end cafe. It'd be nice if there was a mid-range in there. Uh, like I said, I did actually have a slush. Thought it was going to cost me like five quid, but actually it was included in the ticket price because you do get one free drink on the standard admission that I completely forgot about when we booked it. But uh, yeah, what an amazing visit. He seemed to enjoy it anyway. And uh, yeah, I've absolutely loved it here at the Blue Lagoon. Something I've wanted to see for many years. And finally coming here to Iceland and experiencing it. Nothing like it. Typical, as soon as they've closed, and yeah, it's got really dark now. However, got to enjoy it in there. And yeah, I loved it so much. Anyway, I haven't shown you inside yeah, here we go. Here's a look at the lava van. So yeah, come around this way. I'll show you inside. Here we go. So yeah, come and have a look inside. So yeah, obviously you've got this that uh, folds down just here. So you've got the, the main part of the left and this piece of wood kind of comes across to make it a bed all the way over. So yeah, it's pretty basic in here. Obviously it's not an actual camper van. It's a van that's being converted basically. But you've got a little light up there that you can flick on. You've got this one at the top here. Off to the right here, you've got a refrigerator, which is really nice, like a little mini fridge, uh, and that plugs in just there. You've got a couple of USB chargers here. There's also a couple in the front as well. Uh, and then, yeah, you've got some storage underneath here, a little bit to the side as well. There's also heating. You need that. We're in Iceland. That's uh, activated at the top just here. So, yeah, you know, it's very basic. However, um, I do really like it. You know, I'm looking forward to uh, spending the night in here and, uh, and taking it in. But uh, anyway, yes, onwards and upwards. Great start today, off to Reykjavik now. So yeah, gonna uh, get in the van and uh, let's get driving. Well, it's been about a 45 minute drive there from Blue Lagoon here to the capital city of Iceland. Welcome to Reykjavik. And yes, it's absolutely freezing. In fact, it feels even cooler here. Like it's really cold tonight. Saying that, it is about 11 o'clock. And um, yeah, finally made it here to Reykjavik. Always wanted to visit and especially to come and see the church just up here. Really excited to see it. And uh, yeah, gonna be ending the vlog here tonight and sleeping somewhere in the vicinity um, tonight in the van and then starting off here in the the morning for the day two vlog here on Adventure Shore where we'll have a bit of an explore round here in the daytime but I just wanted to kind of show you at night round here uh, this is like the main street that leads up to the church and yeah you can see like all the nice lights and the building style around here which is very nice uh, yeah the journey the good thing is there's literally no traffic on the roads over here uh, it was a dual carriageway for quite a bit of the journey actually from down by Blue Lagoon uh, it's been a lot of kind of like single track roads so far today uh, what an amazing day oh I've loved it here we go then, so you can just see it behind the lamppost there. It's not very well lit from this angle, however when you get close it does look a lot better. So yes, this is the very famous church here in Iceland. I'm going to try my pronunciation again for you now. Helgrimskircher, I believe, that's how you pronounce it, something along them lines. Helgrimskircher. Uh, but yeah, here we go. This actually took 41 years to be completed and yet yeah, it was finished in the 1980s. Here we go, coming into view for you now. Algum's Kircher. Wow, right, amazing to finally actually come here and see this. So it's cross over the road. Yeah, just uh, gone 11 o'clock. You can see the clock up there on the uh, front. And wow, like it's really hard to kind of get the scale on this from pictures and videos. Hence why I've always wanted to come and see it. It's just a very famous building. I'd say the most famous building actually in the whole of Iceland. And yeah, just finally coming here to see it. It's beautiful, but yeah, it's not very well lit up. It feels like actually some of the lights are maybe not on on the left hand side. Cause I'm pretty sure in photos that I've seen it's lit up a little bit more than that. Or maybe because it's now 11 o'clock at night and there's not so much light in, I'm not too sure. Uh, well, the good thing is gonna be starting off the day here in the morning and get to see Halgrimskircher, or uh, however I pronounce it could be completely wrong but i'm trying for you <laughs> but yeah i get to see it in the morning as well but yeah crazy 41 years of construction and here it is it's got this really nice kind of open plaza area at the front stained glass window up there as well but yeah to be honest you can't really see it loads on the camera tonight but we're going to be starting here 
in the morning. Day two here in Iceland, there you go. Oh, I'm absolutely freezing cold tonight, but what an, an awesome day it's been, it really has. First day here in Iceland. Oh, God, it's windy. In the back of the van then now, after an absolutely awesome first day here in Iceland for my first ever visit. And what a great first day it's been, literally landing straight into Reykjavik, um, picking up the van, and then yeah, getting straight out on the road, seeing lots of awesome things. It really has been fantastic. Of course, the highlight for me today, Blue Lagoon, absolutely amazing. It was great to finally get there and just seeing it and feeling the vibes there. Oh, I loved it so much. Don't get me wrong, it was freezing when you were out of the water, but when you were in there it was absolutely amazing and well worth it and in fact to really appreciate Blue Lagoon I feel like you've got to kind of stand out of the water sometimes and then get back in it and really appreciate the heat of it up to 40 degrees C and it was amazing it really was uh, but along with that and uh, just seeing the the country really for the first time experiencing the culture uh, earlier on of course that amazing scenery uh, that we saw and, and, and the beachfront down there with all the black sand and I heard so much about that and yet it was great to see it obviously uh, we went to the little bridge at the start as well which was really cool kind of between the two plates uh, that was awesome and yeah it's just been a really nice action-packed day one here in Iceland but yeah I got the engine running now got the heating on in the bag hopefully it's soon gonna warm up to be honest even since I started this clip just over a minute ago it's already warming up in here so I know some of you are probably watching this thinking blimey you know you're literally sleeping in the back of a van but to be honest like, I think this is gonna get really cozy uh, down here I think it's gonna be absolutely fine so yeah good night thanks for joining me in the day one vlog here on Adventure Sean and uh, stay tuned for day number two starting off in Reykjavik uh, we're gonna have another look round, see the church again and in the daytime and then yeah really start to soak up the vibes of uh, the city before kind of moving out from there we're going to see some waterfalls some more awesome scenery and so much more so stay tuned for that coming up here on Adventure Sean that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and have your own adventures see you in the next video